then this is the, um, the castle. So you can see the cathedral there, and the little uh, bar gate. Well, it's actually quite a big bar gate, and the castle, literally right opposite. I mean, they're within, well, sight line, practically. Um, and of course, this is the top of Steep Hill, which goes off whoops, down the cliffside there. Um, the castle is closed. Uh, closes at four. Um, so, uh, you know, we'll probably not bother go going actually into the castle. Um, the castle is good for um, a number of things. It houses one of the copies of the Magna Carta, which was the uh, 1200s um, attempt by the uh, the land barons to um, rein in King John um, in terms of his powers. It was the first attempt at a an English constitution. Ironically, if you look at the Magna Carta and you look at the Declaration of Independence, which is many centuries later, you'll see that they uh, outline the same worries um, that the, the king, as, as the sole monarch, has way, way, way too much power. And because of that, if he's a bad monarch, the whole country, or the territory, or whatever, um, suffers. Um, my, I have two main memories of the castle. One was coming um, on the 8th of August, 1998, um, and uh, they did. They had a huge battle reenactment here, and then we went in, and they had uh, a day where you could do archery and all sorts in there. Um, and the other memory is much, 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 much earlier, and that's when I climbed the tower and. I have my old vertigo and, and it wouldn't affect me now, but the only time I've ever been up there, <laughs> um, we, my mother was behind me and we, we, we walked through the door at the top to get onto the little sort of turrety bit there, just under the flag, and I couldn't move. I couldn't move. I, I got down on my hands and knees and I just couldn't move. Um, and it was quite funny because my mother was behind me and the tower, as you can see, not very thick. So the, the little winding staircase full of people and you had to go up, go around and go back in. Um, very, very hair-raising experience for me as a, as a child. Um, <laughs> so there we are. Apparently they also used to have... Um, any uh, any executions in um, in the uh, sort of Middle Ages in this sort of little bit here as well. So uh, there we are. No gallows left here. Um, so this this is sort of the upper part of the city, and um, here back you've basically got cobbled uh, floors. Um, is rather nice. It is rather nice, it has to be said. Right, so um, we're here in the castle grounds and I've come in through this. This is the uh, the west gate. Now the west gate hasn't always been open. It's not something I uh, remember. Um, I think they uh, started redoing this area in the 90s so my knowledge of the castle really is sort of <laughs> from this building that way i don't really know much about this this side at all um but i'm going to go and uh, we're going to go and have a look around <laughs> Now, six pounds for entry is not bad at all. Um, this is the main part of the castle here. And uh, this is where they do their displays and stuff like that. When I came here before, um, we all sat on the, uh, the side there and their big sort of re-enactment uh, 
was down this bit here there is a sort of observation tower up there I don't know if that's still open or not we'll have to go and have a look at that um, and then of course the walls are along along here so uh, we're going to go up here and we're going to have a look at this this building at the top which I don't remember mm -hmm. and then uh, walk along have a look at the uh, the main entrance there uh, and then I think we'll walk the walls which go all the way around and above the uh, the gate on the other side uh, and then we'll do that over there that's sort of the building with all the uh, the um, the courts and the uh, the dungeons and stuff like that and the Mag Magna Carta and then if that's open we'll have a look in there <coughs> so this is uh, the base of the wall there's sort of like three levels of walks there's the one that's at the top of the green down there there's this one at the base of the wall and obviously there's the one at the top of the wall there's this strange structure here which um, I remember at one time had a little tiny shop in it wasn't the main shop it was like um, <clears throat> they were selling sort of funny little uh, they had like shells with eyes like the little stick on eyes anyway I remember going sort of running along here and uh, along the, the sort of path below at the top of the green we used to be able to get up and down here but you can see that the path at the bottom runs exactly the same um, uh, along the uh, just along the the bottom I mean you can see it there curling round same as this Again, we could sort of walk through here before, but I'll have to just jump down this little bit here, I think. This is Cobb Hall. Well, that's the name of the tower anyway, and that's the way onto the uh, actual walls. Uh, Cobb Hall was where the uh, executions took place if they took place within the castle walls. Quite often, I think, they took place outside the gates. Um, but if they took took place inside, Cobb Hall was where they would uh, string them up, so to speak. So this is the main entrance to the castle here. You can see the tower at the top. There. And uh, some of the buildings down there. I think the Magna Carta's through that door there, if I remember rightly. If they haven't moved it, of course. <laughs> So here we are inside Cobb Hall, and we're sharing it. With a pigeon. Fantastic. Anyway, uh, Cobb Hall is the place where the executions in Lengen Castle actually happened. And uh, it's also the entrance to the walls. That is up the stairs there. But first, we're going to go down there. Because down there, well, it's the lower floor. Why not? 